Hi guys, so today we're going to be looking at how to copy a plan in Planner, have that show up in Teams properly. So by the end of the video you'll know the difference between adding a planner as a tab and copying a plan which you need to do in the web version of Planner. I'm Gavin Jones, I'm Transformation Manager for a Fortune 500 company and most of the tips that we do have come out of real life examples or from questions from people on YouTube. So if there's anything you want to know and we haven't done a video on it, let us know in the comments below and we might do one just for you. We've got a new video on Teams coming out every Tuesday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified every time one comes out. And if you haven't already, click the free download link in the description below to get the deck that we use for training on Teams and has got all, or most of the tips that we do, written down all in one place. Click the free download link below. Okay, so let's get on and have a look at copying plans in Planner, have them show up in Teams. Okay, so here we are in Teams and we are looking at our Planner tab. This is one that we set up in a previous video called How to Use Planner for Meetings, which I'll link in the description below. If you've not seen that one already, it gives a bit of a better overview of what, what you might use Planner for at least. Um, but this came out of a question from uh, one of our viewers that was getting a bit confused about copying plans. So Planner is a separate app to Teams. It just works really well together and it allows you to create a planner plan when you add a tab, which is uh, quite helpful, but sometimes a little bit confusing. So here's the plan that we've already got. And imagine in this scenario that the question was about, you've set up a plan and you want to repeat those tasks. Um, maybe it's a monthly process or something like that. Um, but the tasks are always the same and you just want to repeat the same things after you've uh, done them once. There's no repeating task in Planner at the moment. Uh, you can copy tasks individually, which you can do um, from Teams or Planner via the three dots, copy task. Um, you can pick which things you want to keep and you can even give it a new name if you wanted to. Um, hit copy and it's going to do what it says on the tin, copy it and that particular task and put it where, where you've told it to put it. Um, but this scenario, it's, it's a, a whole plan of tasks that you then want to copy. Um, so just to go into a couple of things that might be confusing to start, start with, you can have, uh, when you set up a new planner, you click the plus button there and select planner. And then because a plan is sort of independent from a tab, then when you add a new planner, it's saying, do you want to create an entire new plan or do you just want a new tab with an existing plan? So say that we were in a different channel, we might want to use the same plan. So this one's testing planner that we're looking at right now. Um, we might want to pin the same plan in multiple channels um, and then potentially use the buckets for different people putting different stuff in but everybody in the entire team can see everything that's going on with that plan and it's all updated live and whether I go into this tab or that tab or even if that as a tab in a different channel um, and it's pointing back to the same plan whatever I do in this version will, oh, where's my other plan gone? It's gone to the end. Um, whatever I do in that version is gonna update in that version. So see, it's now made that one completed. If we uncomplete it from there and go back to there, then that's now come back. So everything's linked. It's the same, it's just two different things pointing to the same plan. So just to get that out of the way first, so the tab's independent of the plan. You can either create a brand new plan or you can point to an existing plan in Planner. If you want to copy the entire plan, which is what we started the video for, uh, slowly getting around to the point, but I think the context is useful. Um, there's no option in Teams to copy that plan because Teams are just pointing to Planner, which is a web app 
basically. So what we need to do is jump into the web app by clicking the little globe icon. So jump into the web version of Planner, which is the main version of Planner. We're just using Teams as a view, really. You can see exactly the same thing. And whatever I update here, will sync through an update into the Teams. If you've got a Planner uh, iPhone app or uh, mobile app, then anything you do anywhere, Planner only works online, it's gonna instantly update across everywhere that you've got a view back to the same Planner. So we wanna copy this entire plan. So we've filled this all out and this is something we wanna do ongoing. Um, just click the three dots at the top and then go to copy plan. So we're gonna keep it called copy of testing planner. We wanna keep it private, but yeah, we don't, we don't want it public because that's anyone in the whole organization. Probably want it private, same settings as we would already expect. So we're gonna click copy plan and then it says at the bottom copying plan, your new copy will appear in recent plans. Plan copy is successful, copy of testing planner, and it's appeared here. So it's set up a new plan for us. If we look at our original one, you can see it's in the uh, recap core project team, which is the team we're using and in the testing um, channel. If we go to the copy of testing planner, it just says copy of testing planner. So I think that's set it up as a private plan just for us. So when we click on sites, then this has set up a copy of a plan, but it's created a new Office 365 group um, called Copy of Testing Planner. If we click sites, you can see it's got its own SharePoint site. It's not pointing back to the site that's associated with the team. So it's a completely new Office 365 group, um, which is why uh, the viewer that was copying it didn't, was then not able to link it back into Teams. So if we go into Teams and click Planner and use an existing plan from this team, you can see our copy doesn't appear there because it's not in the team. So at the time of recording, it looks like you can't copy a plan in the same Office 365 group or therefore team. So every time you want to try and copy it, it's going to what it's trying to copy it as a brand new Office 365 group. So it's then outside of your team and you can't then link it back to anything in Teams because it's not in the same team, which is where all the privacy settings come from. So if we jump onto user voice, I'll link this in the description below. Um, but like it says, you can copy a plan um, and that's great but it always sets up a new Office 365 group. So um, there's no functionality at the moment to copy a plan and keep it in the existing Office 365 group, uh, which is why our viewer that sent the question in was then struggling to link it back into Teams um, because it doesn't currently do that. So I'll link it in the description below. If you think that's something that uh, would be good to have in the uh, software, then make sure you click the vote button and Microsoft will pay more attention to the ideas that have got the most votes. So the more people that do it, uh, the better. And when you vote, click vote, you have to put your email address in, and then whenever that gets fixed, um, you'll get notified as well. So a bit of a full start um, this week in this week's video, but it was something that someone was struggling with. So hopefully it will be useful to you as well. So at least to know that um, you can't do that currently. And if you're watching this video in the future, that might already be there. So remember to give the video a like if you liked it, give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you haven't already to get notified about new videos. We've got a new video on Teams coming out every Tuesday. And remember to click the free download button in the description below if you want our free training deck that might help you train other people or to get most of our tips all in one place written down. Finally, at me time, we think that meetings could be a lot better We've got a meeting timer in the iOS app store called MeTime. Have a search for it or visit www.metimeapps.com for any more information. Thanks for watching so far and we'll see you in the next video.